First day of a new job. There goes one right there. I just got done making some roads through there. Make it a little easier to walk, a lot of briars and rose bushes. So I took the took the cat and threw the bucket on, cut some roads in real quick so we can get around a little better. I'm gonna jump on the skitter now. Boy, it's a it's a, I like working up here up north. This is what I consider up north compared to back home in Stockton. Uh, we're up here just south of Sedalia, Missouri. We've got, as of right now, two jobs on the book. This one we're cutting on. We got the neighbors over here across the fence. Uh, then we, when we dropped the skitter off, we were informed about another one we that might be pending for us to look at on down the creek. And then we know more and got pulled in here and unloaded. And another one of the neighbors pulled in and got to talk, and he said he's seen our skitter sitting here because I brought it up Sunday night. And he's got some land he's curious about possibly having logged too. So you never know. We we might be up in this country for a while, which which doesn't bother me. Like I said, I, I enjoy working up here. This is what I like. Look at that dirt black dirt that's something we don't have back home we've got rocks lots of rocks so this track of timber here goes from the road right here i think it runs about a quarter deep pretty much down to that tree line you see there both sides of the creek here so there's there's several walnut trees that grow on this creek so we're gonna we're gonna start on this west side today we're gonna start here in the front and just start working our way back and i'm gonna jump on the skitter here I'm gonna fire it up, put a little fuel in it. We're gonna start dragging some logs. We'll get in there and cut some with Dad here in a bit. Just kind of keep things clearing out of the way. Cause there's a lot of residual trees, so we got to be careful on falling, and we don't want to put too many in there and start making a mess. So we're gonna have to kind of keep keep on top of things as we go with the skitter and the skid steer. So let's uh, let's hop to it and get some wood out. <sighs> Laying them down. Laying them down. Me and Dad are both running 661s today. You can see him there kind of working his way up through there. We just kind of, I don't know, I think we got 10, maybe 12 out on the deck right now. They're rolling pretty fast. Uh, a lot of a lot of good residual trees in here. A lot of good, a lot of good young trees. So we're trying to be very careful of placement. This timber's been logged before. I've seen some stumps, some old stumps. And whoever logged it, they just did a they did a fantastic job. They really did. They uh they that's the reason why we're logging it today is because somebody else did a really good job when they logged it. And that's our goal. We're gonna come in here and lightly thin it. And that way down the road, maybe us or another logger can come back in here and log it again. That's the plan. That's that's what doing a good harvest is all about. So we're we're trying to cut the tops up a little bit as we go. That way they kind of lay flatter. So it's uh, it's coming along pretty good. Like I said Dad's walking down there. If I don't hurry, he'll uh, he'll get a jump on me. I think I'll go up here and that one was hung up, and I pulled it down, and then I cut this one here. But I think I'll grab these couple here real quick, try to get them cut down, kind of kind of give me a little leeway. And Dad's gonna work on down there. So let's get back to knocking a few down.
when I looked at this job across the creek right here, and I remember seeing this walnut that washed out. It'd come from up the creek somewhere, but it's not real big, but man, there ain't no need in wasting that. We can utilize that. I mean, there's, but, uh, we can get some good out of that log there. You know, it's probably 13 inches. It's not bad. You can, if you can get something out of it, get it. Don't, don't leave nothing to waste. And, uh, plus it kind of <laughs> might help from being a big log jam here someday. There already is kind of, so we cut this log out, maybe kind of free flow some of the stuff around here too. Man, we're, we're starting to hear some activity in the sky too. That's one thing I love about working up here around Sedalia, Warrensburg, Whiteman Air Force Base at Knobnoster because the B-2s, especially with all that's going on in the world right now, the, the B-2s are, man, they're just, we see them all the time we work up here. I've, I know I had some videos earlier this year, late last year, some B-2s at work. Uh, man, it, it's awesome, man, seeing the A-10s and the B-2s. My little cousin's in the Air Force. He's he was stationed in Alaska for a long time, and uh, he's done a couple tours overseas, and I think he's down in Oklahoma now. He flies on a AWACS. But, man, it's, it is. It's uh, Growing up, I've always been fascinated with, you know, the military planes. Just, it's uh, pretty cool, pretty cool to see. They're, uh, they're loud, man. They, we've been working right next to the base up there at Whiteman, and you can hear those the A-10s, but especially the B-2s. That just you can feel them in your chest. I mean, over the chainsaws, over the skitters, and everything. It's it's pretty neat. Well, we're gonna cut this out real quick. Get it cut out, and I can back right down here at the skitter. We're gonna grab it, head to the deck. Dad's marking up logs. We've got everything cut off the west side of the creek here, except for one tree, and we've got to pull it. So we'll either pull that today. Or first thing tomorrow i don't know because there's there's a lot of logs to mark up and buck so that's going to keep us busy for a while and i like doing that as we go because if you don't it gets away from you so let's get this thing here uh cut up and take it out just got home for the day rounded it out the day with uh i think 33 trees on the ground we got them all cut and drug out and they're bucked up on the landing I didn't, uh, I didn't roam up, I meant to, but, uh, I got a, I got an order in for logger threads, and <clears throat> I know that people are wanting them shipped out fast, so, it was the end of the day, there wasn't no big deal to roam up, so I was in a hurry to get home and try to get that order sent out, because I, I'm sure they're wanting it in time for Christmas, so, ship today, it should be their Thursday, so we use priority mail for all that stuff. Tomorrow, we're going to cut uh, some bigger trees, that stuff today. Nothing real big. It had been logged before, like I said, but it was really clean. It was really, really clean timber. Almost every tree's got a rotary log on it. And some of you guys are asking what a rotary log is. It's just like a little peeler. Not really like a big slicer veneer. I know we're using a lot of terms. A lot of people probably don't know, but pretty much almost every one of those trees we cut today they won't make lumber out of the first cuts of the tree. The first log in the tree, they'll be peelers, rotary logs. Uh, there might have been one or two that'll be slicer grade. We say slicer actually slice it thin with a knife, like paper thin veneer. Rotary is the same way, but rotary, uh, I always say they just kind of peel it like an apple, because they do. I mean, just round and round and round until there's nothing left. Little sheets of all that paper will come off. So tomorrow we'll uh, we'll cut some bigger trees. Tomorrow, uh, I don't think I don't think tomorrow the next day will go near as smooth as today went because today went really smooth. Like uh, me and Dad, we just we ran through that timber today. We did. Uh, he cut the majority of the trees. I cut maybe maybe six, maybe six seven. That was it. But uh, he uh, he ran through them, man. He was a he ate through those one. He did. He ate right through them today. I, I know he's loving that uh, 404 chain on that 661. He's really liking that stuff. And I like it too. It, it uh, It's just a hardier chain. It'll, it'll withstand a little more abuse. That's why we like the 404. 
uh, didn't eat no breakfast this morning. I'm, I'm bad about not eating breakfast a lot of mornings. Uh, I've been, I've been on a, cause a lot of you guys know that I like to work out and try to stay in shape the best I can. I try to watch what I eat for the most part. And, uh, I'm real big on what goes into my body. And I've been trying a new supplement, <clears throat> excuse me, trying a new supplement out. It's called frog fuel. It's crazy as that sounds. It's uh no, it's not made with frogs or anything. It's uh it's made it's developed and made by the you know, some retired Navy SEALs. It's uh pretty much just like a it's it's not like an energy shot or an energy drink. It's not that at all. It's it's protein. It's protein and you know amino acids, just stuff like your body needs when you're when you're working and working out. Because usually when I get home of a night, I work out. I, I try to, like I said, I, I try to try to stay in shape. I do. Um, when the when the days last longer, I like to run. I love to run. I've ran several 5Ks, 10Ks, half marathons, run a lot of obstacle races. Uh, I've always run a full marathon. I'd like to do an ultra someday. I love to run. Love to run. Weighted runs, uh, rucks, like a go ruck event, or a vest, weighted vest. Uh, just... Anything to kind of push your body, see what your thresholds are. It's a lot of fun. and It's fun when you're done. It's not fun when you're doing it. It's absolute misery and hell when you're doing it, but when you're done, it really feels good. So that's for uh, that's that's pretty much it for today. Tomorrow we'll be back in the woods, back up there around Sedalia. I'm calling it Sedalia. It's actually Mora, Missouri is the, the uh, address. We're just going to call it Sedal- Sedalia because I don't think there's anything at Mora other than a post office. <laughs> so... But we'll be back up there tomorrow, cutting. So hang out with us tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out with us today. I'll try to get that job wrapped up. I'd, well, we'll try to put the wraps on it pretty quick, as quick as we can, actually. Hopefully we can knock it out in, in three days is what I'm hoping. <clears throat> that's that's kind of what I'm wanting to do. I need to go look at timber Thursday. And it just depends on how well tomorrow goes. Like if we can really make some good headway tomorrow. I might just try to break away and go look at Timber Thursday. But it, it just depends. We'll, we'll see how tomorrow plays out. But guys, thanks a lot for following. Uh, appreciate it so much. Check us out on all of our social media outlets, Instagram, Facebook, at Turner Logging LLC. Uh, you, when you hear me talk about shirts, it's logger threads. Like me and uh, my good friend, uh, Shanae, she's, she helps me with it all. She's she's the brains behind a lot of things now. Like we're getting ready to drop a new shirt design. It's a it's a lady shirt. She designed it. Looks awesome. So if you go to the Logger Threads website, you can leave your email address. And anytime like new new designs come out, you'll get updated. You'll be the first one to get updated. You'll actually get updated and be offered to buy it on pre order before the general public. So it's a pretty cool deal. Shirts are pretty legit. Check all you can follow that on Instagram and Facebook at Logger Threads, or you can go to loggerthreads.com. But they are, the shirts are pretty legit. Pretty legit, high quality stuff. So check that out. Guys, we're going to get off here. We will see you tomorrow, back in the timber.